Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Adil Abid. I'm a second year PhD student at Malmo University, Sweden. Today, I'm going to show you how to find a PhD opportunity, what documents you, uh, you need. Uh, the, the process is almost the same for other European countries, but in my case, it is uh, totally related to Sweden, but uh, it, it's almost the same, that the document requirements are the same, that how you're going to find an opportunity, the same. So this is a totally, the most important part is, this is a totally practical experience. I work like I, I, I almost spent a year when I was uh, like applying to different universities looking for the opportunities. So let's get started and I hope it will help you. So stay with us. Let's get started. So the first thing is that uh, you, you need to have a website. You need to find a website where you can find a PhD opportunity. And uh, what, I, what I learned and what I found that this academic position is the most, the most uh, relevant and the most uh, used and famous website to find PhD position. And uh, click here and then uh, going to the website, let's uh, scroll down and uh, going to PG position. All right, and then you can click on advanced search and look here on your left. You can see that the PG position is is clicked. The, you can select your major, for instance, computer science, and then you can scroll down up to a location. You can you can choose e either a Europe a Europe or a, any other country you want. So in here, I have clicked on Sweden. And also you can choose particular uh, universities, but I think it, it doesn't matter at the moment. All right, and then uh, the one important part is, the most important part is, if you see these three tabs, relevance, recent, and closing soon, you need to click on the closing soon because you would like to avail more and more opportunities, okay, depending upon your interest and if you want to increase your chances it's always good to apply to apply at multiple uh, universities all right so click on closing soon so it's for instance if you if you see here closing in two weeks so this is the time you you need to apply within two weeks so this is the most uh, the, the the shortest deadline that we have all right just click on click on the site this is a kth uh, like kth one of the top uh, university in the sweden so in here, the, the most important part is project description. You need to go through the project description and then you can also look at the other details, for example, uh, like what are they offering, for instance, like what we offer about the institute, the research group or related details and the education requirements, okay. And then you can have a look at the selection process that what particular things they are looking for uh, when uh, whenever they are assessing a candidate, all right, independent uh, work, uh, collaboration, professional approach, and solving a problem, and then going down to like details, like okay, what are you gonna do it, it, in the Sweden? It's quite uh, quite common that twenty percent you're gonna uh, be involved in teaching. Or, you know, either you can be a, a teacher assistant, or you can uh, you can take uh, you can take some labs, or you can. Uh, teach a course you can it's it's up to a mutual agreement or a mutual understanding or like it, it can be different at in different universities so it doesn't matter a lot and then straight away like application that okay what is this about so the in the application the, in the documentation what you need to do have what you need to have is a cv with a professional experience it's quite important you know you should have a very good cv and then you should have a brief, like uh, 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 an application letter. I think it's the cover letter, but they are using the terminology application letter. It could be different, but I have seen in the most cases, the cover letter they, they look for. And then you can have your degrees and uh, like diplomas and the, you know, the, the mark sheet or, or, or whatever. And uh, any other things like a representative uh, publication, you can either go for application list or whatever, which makes your in best possible way that can represent your content, your research uh, achievements and stuff like that. And then 
what is the most important part is like uh, uh, yeah this is like number of position and you can also look at the agreement and in case if you have some queries you can directly ask to the relevant uh, concerned people like they, they could be coordinator or they are the one who are hiring you they are they'll be your boss your supervisor or like uh, could be them in, in most probably this could be the case oh and there is one more important thing in in case if you want to approach uh, other people you can contact the uni uni union representatives and they are quite active to guide people and other in, in particularly you can also coordinate with the uh, uh, doctoral unit which is specifically for doctoral students this is more generalized one union representative and this is more specific for the phd students okay so let's target um, uh, or let's apply the apply click on the apply and once you click on apply you'll see the same information that you view so that is the beauty of the this uh, academic position that it will straight away take you to the uh, to the web page where you'll uh, be applying you'll uh, you'll be uploading uh, uploading the documents all right so apply for you have already gone through the details uh, here it's more organized because this is the genuine website all right and uh, here you can apply for uh, the position since uh, uh since i be i have already made an account so, but i'll uh, take you to the page where probably you'll get to this is the page you'll get once you click on the uh, apply now and then you'll go to the university website and then when you apply it uh, the university website you'll click on either like you can lo log in if you have a facebook or you have linkedin I, I, if you don't have the, the and none of these so you can create a new account in my case i have a linkedin account so i'll click on the linkedin okay let's uh, let's sign in and see what are they asking for or how how it looks like for example this is like the position that i have already applied before recording the video but it, th this is what i'll be resuming all right so let's again click on it yeah so here we are again so you need to uh, fill up these information upload uh, uh, this is a mandatory thing you need to upload a profile picture uh, fill up the information and uh, here here we have you need to have a cv this that's mandatory that's staric uh, upload it and then you have a cover letter over there in the in the in the job advertisement they have said application letter but i think it's a cover letter so you need to upload it and then other files for example if you have um, some research experience internship you have some teaching uh, certificates if you have anything publication list whatever you that you can think can support your documents just go for it and then over here you can add up your publication list this is quite important like usually when you look uh, for a phd position you can uh, it, it, it increases your chances if the project uh, that is uh, that is published is quite relevant to the research expertise that you have the closer it matches the higher you, uh, your chances and then number of publication and the quality of publication of course matters though so title publisher okay springer or okay uh, uh, mdpi i i e, whatever city where it's published year and the description short description of what is what is this work about and then just uh, just click on the ad or see so since i have uh, added already few few of them 2021 title and then publisher and then maybe short summary all right so then going down if you have a driving license click on it one of these if it's relevant if, if there is no if there if there are none just click over here and then this is a question okay in maximum letters why you are interested in this particular doctoral student position and project try to be more realistic try to give more provide more evidence and like and fill out uh, these options like this one and this one it's quite short 500 uh, characters more like an sms like that we compose it used to in back in the days like okay this is like uh, how many characters 500 characters and then here we go very short one and you click on here like click and then submit application that's all that's all what you need to do so the most important thing is that you need to have one platform where you can look for opportunities that is a phd academic position that i've shown you second okay the the, the documents that you need in the most cases uh, cv and uh, recommendation letter sometimes uh, it's always nice to have three recommendation letters um 
uh, two. Usually they ask for two, but sometimes they ask for three. So it's always good to have three. And then uh, CV, recommendation letters, and other experience, research uh, experience certificates, a list of publications, and that's all done. So I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, if you have any confusion, feel free to comment and uh, I, I most probably I'll get back to you very soon. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. I love this.